Deep in the heart of Leicestershire, they tell the story of Black Annis. It is a tale that is used to frighten children to show them what will happen if they misbehave and how Black Annis will come for them in the middle of the night and spirit them away to a cave. Black Annis is, by all accounts, a thin, frail old witch. Her skin is blue and she has talons instead of hands, talons that she used to carve out the cave she lives in from solid rock. But that is not all she uses them for. Black Annis sneaks into town under the cover of darkness and reaches through the windows of homes to scuttle from their beds, before returning to her lair with her prey. There, she drinks the blood of her victims before eating their flesh and then she hangs their skin out to dry. When it has, she adds it to the skirt she wears, made from the other naughty children she has feasted upon. But Black Alice isn't real. She is the bogeyman. She is just the work of fiction. Right? Perhaps. Perhaps not. During World War II, when children were being evacuated from cities that were being heavily bombed by the Nazis, one of these evacuees related a story of Black Alice to one of the children of the family that they were staying with, stating, Three children were sent out by their wicked stepmother to collect firewood. As night descended, they feared to see Black Annis, who only came out after dark, for it was said daylight would turn her to stone. They heard a snuffling, and through a hole in their witch stone, saw Black Annis. Unable to escape whilst carrying the wood, they dropped them and ran. Annis bloodied her legs on the bundles, and mumbling and cursing to herself, went to a bow to rub her legs with salve. Then she came back for the children and caught up with them at their cottage door. The dad came out and with an axe hit Annis full in the face. She began to run for a cave shouting blood, blood, but just then the Christmas bells began to peal and she fell down dead. An outrageous tale from a frightened child? Or maybe, just maybe, there's a little bit of truth in the legend of Black Annis.